Hi, I'm Oliver P, and the P stands for press, as in pressing buttons on a control pad. And I'm going to tell you how you can boost your character in your writing using this control pad right now. Hey Chewy Gum Gums, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, sub and share if you care. So today's writing lesson is about controlling our characters. Because when we control our characters, we control the story. We're going to do this using a controller. Now, I've got a whole ton of them at home because I'm a massive video game nerd. Let me show you some of my favorite controllers. Let's see. Okay, so let's start off with Xbox. They do really great comfy controllers. Four buttons. This is very important and I'll tell you why later on. I'm also a big fan of the Switch and I love the Switch Pro Controller. This is my Splatoon 2 controller. Love these four buttons on there as well. If you want to go old school, okay, I am a big Nintendo fan and this is the Super Nintendo controller with its four lovely colorful buttons as well. Now, here is my favorite and probably the most expensive controller that I've got. This is the Xbox Elite Controller 2. It comes in its own rechargeable case. Ooh, so you know it's good. ta -da! Okay, and here we go. Look at that. This is um, for pro gamers. And I am a pro gamer. Kind of. So as a writer, we are basically controlling our characters. In the same way a gamer is controlling their characters with this controller. So we are going to be doing a controller map for our character. Now, I want you to grab your piece of paper and a pen or use your device and I want you to draw your own controller. Now, I've modeled mine here on the Xbox controller. Now, it doesn't look exactly the same because it's not meant to be perfect. But the main things you need is the directional pad, which is over here. And you also need those four lovely buttons. And I've done mine color-coded, so... These are going to be our four actions for our character. Now, these actions could be anything, okay? Because we are just brainstorming a character at this stage. With, let's just say our character's name is Jeff, okay? Jeff is going to be our character. Let's give four actions for Jeff. I'm going to start off here with the red one. I'm going to say kick. Okay, kick. Maybe Jeff's a little bit of an angry guy, I don't know. He likes to kick things, or maybe he's a soccer player. Um, I'm going to do my A button. Mm, how about this? My A button is going to be a uh, saying term. So I'm going to put say... Pineapples. So when you press A, Jeff's going to say, pineapples. Now, B. I think for B, I'm going to do something a bit random. I'm going to put hug. Okay? So when you press B, Jeff is going to hug someone or hug something. And X. Hmm. Because we're looking for like action verbs um, or sayings. Things to keep the, the story flowing. So for our character here... I'm going to put X, I'm going to say, um, open doors, okay? It sounds very specific, but this is going to help us brainstorming our, our story here. Okay, so, here is our four actions. We're going to have open doors, kick, hug, and say, pineapples for our character Jeff. Now, once you've written down your four actions, or your um, sayings, I want you to think of a scenario where your character, or in my case, Jeff, is going to use these four things. So, when you're brainstorming your story, you could say something like, okay, Jeff's going to school and he kicks an empty can. So that's where you press Y. You press Y, kick. Then he's going to see his best friend. And he decides to give his best friend a hug. Why not? So, he presses B and he hugs his friend. Then, when he's at school, he opens the door into the classroom. So, that's when you get to use um, X there for open door. 
Now, how are we going to get him to say pineapples? Hmm, maybe Jeff is talking to his best friend about pizza and his friend's like, is there anything on a pizza that you'll never have? And he might say, pineapples. And that could start a big debate and a big fight if pineapples, be, you know, deserve to be on pizza. I don't know, maybe. So, that could be the start of a story. So these four actions can be random, but when you have these four actions, it gives you a plan of what your character could do or say in any scenario. Okay, Tree Gum Gums, here is your challenge. I want you to give this to your friend or um, an adult, like a mum or dad or anyone you like, and I want you to give them this control pad and ask them to give you four actions or sayings for your character, okay? And when they've filled in those four gaps, I want you to make up a character using what they give you. So they might give you something really crazy like um, punch or slice or, you know, kiss, who knows. Once you've got those four actions, it will stir up something for you in your head in terms of what your character might do and that way you'll know where the story is going to head. And if you want a bonus challenge, add shoulder buttons to your controller so your character will now have six actions or sayings. Okay, the more your character does something, the more your character says things, you'll have a better sense of where your story is headed. Let me know in the comments what your character controller pad is like. And if you want to see more writing lessons, don't forget to sub to this channel and stay tuned every week for a couple of story boosters or idea busters. That's it for me guys. I'm Oliver P. Peace out. Woo!